Hey there, welcome to Pepper Geek. In today's video, I wanna talk about what causes pepper leaves to sometimes turn purple. If you've watched our channel for any amount of time, you've probably seen us growing purple pepper varieties like this one here that naturally have dark foliage and dark fruits. But why is it that your green foliage varieties that aren't supposed to turn purple sometimes turn purple? In this video, I'll share three common reasons that plant foliage turns purple and exactly what you can do about it. Before I start, I'm so excited to announce that our new pepper growing course has just launched. We've been working on this for about two years now, so I'm so excited that it's finally ready. It contains over 40 videos neatly organized to help you grow peppers from seed all the way through to harvest. It's mostly meant for beginner gardeners, so if you're in your first couple of years growing peppers, it'll definitely be useful to you. Learn more by clicking the first link in the description below, and if you are interested in buying the course, you can save 20% for a limited time by using the code YouTube20 during checkout. Okay, so why do pepper leaves turn purple? The first possible reason is natural anthocyanin content. So those purple pepper varieties like this one here have high levels of anthocyanins, which are also known as the purple pigment that cause purple coloration on many different plants, including peppers. With these varieties, you'll usually see purple coloration as soon as the plants sprout on the cotyledons. The first leaves are very dark purple, almost black in color. You're definitely familiar with the effects of anthocyanins if you've had blueberries or maybe sweet potatoes or eggplants. All of these purple vegetables and fruits turn purple thanks to anthocyanins. Some plants have higher levels of anthocyanins than others like this purple pepper here is deep purple and that's because it's very rich in anthocyanins. Other peppers don't have much anthocyanin content at all and so the foliage will be purely green along with the peppers. But there are some varieties that have just a little bit of anthocyanin content, which can come through when light intensity is very high. Anthocyanins are activated by light. So if you're growing a variety that has a little bit of anthocyanin content, but your light intensity is very high, maybe indoors under some LED grow lights, it may cause those anthocyanins to activate, causing some purple coloration. I've seen this, especially on banana peppers, some bell pepper varieties that you wouldn't expect to have purple leaves, they turn purple indoors under high intensity light. So while this really isn't harmful or anything that you really need to worry about, it may be an indication that you should back your lights off a little bit or turn down the intensity if you can. This can also occur on the fruits of plants, again, especially in banana peppers, if they're exposed to direct sunlight. It's basically one step away from sun scald on the fruits, which is something you should worry about. So if you can avoid it, you wanna make sure that your fruits are not exposed to direct sun. But if you see some purple streaks on your banana peppers, it's perfectly okay. Again, it's just caused by that direct sun exposure. This is the same reason that the nodes of many pepper plants will turn purple, especially later in the year when the plants grow larger. There's just a higher concentration of anthocyanins at those points. The second reason that pepper leaves can turn purple is a phosphorus deficiency. Phosphorus is one of the three primary nutrients used by all plants to grow properly. And if there's not enough of it in the soil or the plants can't access it, you might start to see some symptoms, including purpling leaves. Now, phosphorus is a mobile nutrient, meaning that it can be moved around the plant as needed. So you'll usually see the purple coloration starting on the lower foliage, the older leaves, down low on the plant and moving upwards over time. This is most likely to affect your seedlings or your potted pepper plants that weren't fertilized frequently enough because as those nutrients are used up, the plants are gonna rely on you to replenish them. However, if you're growing in the ground, I'd be a lot more careful about just adding phosphorus or even all-purpose fertilizer. I'd highly recommend getting a soil test. And if you wanna learn more about that topic, we just published a video over on our other channel, Geeky Greenhouse, all about how to do it. But for phosphorus, a soil test is very important. So if you're seeing purple coloration on your in-ground plants, it may be an indicator that your soil is lacking phosphorus, but I wouldn't jump to that conclusion without knowing for sure, because too much phosphorus can be a bad thing. So while a phosphorus deficiency in the soil is definitely possible, especially in potted plants, it's also possible that your pH is out of balance. Phosphorus is most available in the range of 6.5 to 7.5 pH, basically slightly acidic to slightly alkaline. But if your pH falls even slightly outside of this range, the availability of phosphorus goes down drastically. So while there may be plenty of phosphorus in the soil, your plants may be struggling to actually uptake the nutrient and put it to use it's possible that your water is actually highly alkaline or highly acidic. This is especially true if you're using treated water. So I highly recommend doing a pH test of your tap water. You can use really cheap pH test strips to get a good idea of how alkaline or how acidic your water is. 
and if it happens to fall out of this range, you may need to adjust the pH before watering your seedlings. This one change can make a drastic difference in how quickly your plants grow and how healthy they are. Adjusting the pH outdoors is a little bit different. You wanna use things like sulfur to make it more acidic or lime to make it more alkaline, and recommendations on how exactly to do this are usually included with a soil test. And the third reason you might be seeing purpling on your pepper plants is cold temperatures. I've reiterated this so many times on the channel, but peppers are warm season crops. They like warm temperatures pretty much year round, ideally between 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And in colder temperatures, anthocyanins can be more easily activated. This can actually be a good thing if you're growing ornamental plants and you want the deepest purple coloration, you can lower the temperature slightly and increase light exposure to make those leaves as purple as possible. But one way or another, it's pretty important to monitor the temperature in your growing space, understand how warm it is and how cold it might be getting overnight. A couple other reasons you might be seeing purple coloration on your plants is nutrient burn. So adding too much of a liquid nutrient that is readily available. Liquid non-organic fertilizers are most likely to cause this because they're instantly available to the plant. And if there's too much available nitrogen in the soil, then the plants may develop brown spots on the edges and tips of the leaves. Also, some diseases can cause purple or brown discoloration on the leaves. If you're seeing venal necrosis, in other words, dead tissue along the veins of your leaves, this is most likely a symptom of disease. Various diseases can cause this, like mosaic viruses and phytophthora. And if you wanna learn more about diseases on pepper plants, I'll leave a link down below. But in general, I would say that the most likely cause of purple coloration is just that anthocyanin content. A lot of peppers contain some anthocyanin content and it's enough to come through in high light intensity environments. So I hope this video puts you at ease a little bit. If you've seen this in the past or you see it in the future, it's usually not too much to worry about. Thanks so much for watching Pepper Geek and I'll see you next time.